Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. Um, gonna be a little bit different this afternoon. This is what I should have been doing the whole time is doing all out reviews like this. I've just been swamped. I got in late tonight, so I apologize for getting started so late as well. I'll try not to make it run so long uh, because we are getting started later. So let me turn around here. I wanna show you what I got going on. Uh, I got home maybe 30, 45 minutes ago and I had to you know, do a couple things whenever you get home. And also, um, uh, I was working. I got this little uh, demonstration thing set up here. Um, as you can see, I got some where the baseboards are on the floor right there. And then I got some with the baseboards raised up right there. And we are gonna be checking out this super awesome, I mean, super awesome, uh, Tucker right here from Roberts. I, uh, someone who ever gets this is going to be uh, getting a little bit uh, used because I took it to work with me today. How's it going, Billy? Uh, <clears throat> making a paper party last two minutes. Okay. Uh, I took this to work with me. Thank you, Jared. I appreciate it. Took this to work with me today. So someone who ever wins one of these, one of these will be slightly used. I wanted to take it to work and get the feel of it and stuff like that so I could give a great review on it. However, it only, it only went through three rooms of carpet. So it's not like it got all boogered up or anything like that. But I tell you what, I do absolutely love it. This thing is awesome. How's it going, Billy? Thanks for joining, buddy. Glad you was able to make it. Uh, so again, what I, what I got one more time here, um, tack strip pad and how's it going Danny and baseboards on the floor here this is how I worked today with this Tucker the baseboards were on the floor and um, right here I've got a little baseboard raised up about uh, the thickness of the baseboard that's how people do it whenever they will have the baseboards raised up so I want to try this out try this out with both instances and see if uh, how it works with the tax strip raised up I mean with the baseboards raised up and with them on the floor. I know how it does on the floor, but I want you guys to see it. Um, I, I done all day today with, well, three rooms with the baseboards on the floor. So uh, let's give it a whirl. I got a couple, you know, nothing real expensive, just some leftover carpet I had from a job. It's uh, maybe a medium grade carpet, I guess. But anyway, that's what we're gonna practice with. So let me uh, set this down here. I wanna check it out here, let's see. I need to have that facing me, so this might be a little bit awkward here for just a second till I get everything going. My wife is not with me here this afternoon helping me out, so kind of be by myself for a minute. <coughs> so, uh, I got my carpet trimmer. I wanna go ahead and trim this. Uh, and we're gonna compare, we are gonna compare the difference right here with the wall trimmer for my stair tool. And, uh, that tucker so i'm gonna go ahead and just trim this down right here okay i'm gonna stop right there because that's where the baseboards are not raised up so typically this is how i do it right here with my with my stair tool give it a little right little rake under the baseboard if the baseboards are raised up and it makes it look all pretty and stuff like that so let's get a look at it right there see this is just nothing out of the ordinary but anyway we're still going to make it so this is some old baseboards by the way okay so if you happen to see something that's just old it's been in my shop here for a while so uh let's um turn this back around i want to show now with the uh robert's tucking tool right there i'm going to trim it out pull this back up i'll get another trim on it start all over here and we're going to get a trim on it and then we're going to see how fast you guys see how fast it took right there it was just normal uh way to tuck so right there okay now we're going to go with this check this out guys this is super awesome look at that that's it, man. That's all you gotta do. I was super happy with that thing today. That is awesome. Check it out. You don't have to rake it or anything like that. It is there and beautiful. <clears throat> so uh, we'll do it one more time with the 
baseboards raised up and then I'll pull it around and go over there with the baseboards on the floor and just to see if there is any difference or anything like that. These wheels, by the way, I actually posted this on, uh, thanks Jared, I appreciate it buddy. These wheels, I posted this on my Facebook page earlier. Somebody was asking how long would it take to damage the baseboards or something like that, blah, 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 blah. Well, these are like a, almost a clear, they're just white. They look white, but they're like almost a clear. They just look white because they're so thick. But I mean, they're not like really thick. You can see how thick they are right there. But these are not gonna mark up the baseboard at all. And here in a minute, I wanna actually take them and mark these on the, on the baseboard here intentionally and try to mark the baseboard and just to see how much it would take, how much carelessness, how much problems it would take to damage the baseboards, okay? And um, for thicker carpet and stuff like that, I wanna point something out right here. Um, you can see these inside right, right here. Each one of these wheels, see right here on this one too, right here underneath the handle and then right there on the other side. Each one of these wheels can be adjusted down if you're working with a thicker carpet. Uh, thank you, Bobby, I appreciate that. Because as of right now, you got about three eighths of an inch of wheel sticking out the bottom of your tool right here, which that's absolutely perfect for sticking it down right now working with some medium gray carpet but if you was working with a little bit thicker carpet you probably would want to adjust these down more so they would actually go down deeper in the uh, gully of the tack strip okay so let's do this one more time i mean it is super fast y'all i was like almost running around them long walls in them rooms today i was i was thrilled to death i'm kind of old and fat and i don't get to move fast no more like i used to so whenever i I was able to do that. I was like, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> kind of brought back some good old feelings and good old memories of working fast like I used to. Uh, okay. So again, let's take it. Look, it, it, it left hand, you can, work, you can run this. Uh, thank you, uh, Damon Jones. I appreciate it, buddy. So you can either run this left-handed like this or right-handed like this. Both ends are curved up, so you can go either way. And I tell you what, this rubber handle on this feels absolutely awesome. It's got a really good feel. I just like holding it like that. And it's really, again, uh, all the tools that have handles like that that you can use to crawl around on is a big plus. It keeps you off your knuckles whenever you're crawling uh, from one way or the other if you've got a handle to hold on to. So I really like tools like that. Okay, this is cut right here. Let's, t let's uh, tuck it again. Look. Look at that again. It's just as fast as you can push that thing, okay? It don't take any, anything to do that. I mean, it's awesome. Just as fast as you can tuck it, okay? And it does it perfect. I've, uh, I love it, okay? Let's come over here now where the baseboard is on the floor and see how it does over there. Uh, I want to tell you guys, uh, so you feel it rolling? Yeah, you absolutely can feel it rolling, Jared. Um, tell you guys thank you, too, for the super chats. I don't know who, who all has done it there, but it looks like there's already a few there. Uh, pro tip with Berber, you can knock off the outside row. Yeah, I, I always got to be extra precautious with Berber for sure. That's on regular tucking or anything. So... Uh, set this over here and uh, let's see here I'm halfway well I'm more than halfway I got like I'm done with my sheetrock mudding and stuff like that in here so all I gotta do is one more sanding and then uh, I'll be ready for paint I'll elevate this up a little bit here maybe that'll help you guys out see a little bit better there okay so this is uh, this is the baseboards on the floor right here we're gonna see how it works just as well, okay? Uh, push this up there. Okay. I'm gonna do it with my stair tool first, just to show uh, the typical way, typical speed and stuff like that, that it has to go. Okay, so normally, you take your stair tool, Make it look all pretty, okay? So that is that. 
It almost sounded a little hollow. I almost got it a little bit short there. I was trying to hurry, but anyway, you can still see how it sounds right there. I mean, how it looks. That is using a regular stair tool. Now I'm gonna use the tucker and let's see how it works with that. I grabbed my long trimmer. I thought I would grab the one I was using today, which had good blades in it. These blades are about kilt on this one right here. So I didn't realize that until I started. I was trying to hurry up and get around because I was so late getting home from work tonight. I was just trying to hurry up and get this going so I wasn't keeping you guys up late. Uh, Okay, let's do it again right here. Yep. Okay, there's a little pro tip right there. Your carpet is all wadding up in front of you. See, I've got my foot on it right there and I can pull back on it, put pressure back on it so it don't wad up in front of my trimmer. Okay, so this is it. The baseboards are on the floor right there. Look at that. Let me turn that around so you guys can see it. Uh, my trimmer is, like I said, rough. So let me uh, push them fibers out of the way. But anyway, that is it. A nice, clean tuck. Once again, let me do it again right here for you. Maybe my trimmer won't get all jacked up this time. <clears throat> I hope that's a good enough angle to see there. I wish I had someone here to hold the camera for me, but I don't, so I apologize. Apologize for that. Uh, there we go. Got more of a bite on it this time. That way, uh, it ain't it ain't trying to tear on me. Okay, so once again, right here, the Roberts Tucker. Let's check it out just as fast as it'll go. Look at there. Beautiful, son. I love that thing. That thing is awesome. You ain't gonna get no faster than that. I promise you. I don't care what you're doing, what, you, what tool you're using or anything, you're not gonna tuck carpet any faster than you can do it with that machine right there or that tool right there. It, there's no way, I don't care. It, you can tuck carpet just as fast as you can crawl across the floor. If you can do that with any other tool, the more power to you, but I don't know of anything that you can tuck with as fast as you can with that. That thing is awesome, okay? So, you guys might have guessed it. We're gonna be giving one of these away today. Tonight, see, there you go. There's one of my fat boy breathing and stuff like that. Uh, I'm out in my studio. I want to go. Uh, thanks, Chris. I appreciate it, buddy. I'm going to go inside now. I think that's all, all uh, that should be shown or needs to be shown. The thing is awesome. I'll say that. And I'm sure you can buy uh, replacement wheels and stuff like that. I have people comment on that quite often about... Uh, uh, hey, what room that going to be? This is going to be my studio. This is where, as soon as I get this done, this is where I'm going to film all of my videos and stuff like that. I'm going to build uh, interior walls in here. Thank you, Damon Jones, again. I appreciate it, buddy. My interior walls will be movable. I will not fasten them securely. They will be screwed down. That way I can move them, reposition them, and change the layout of the house here all that I want to and, say, make a big uh, a studio apartment out of it. Uh, kitchen dining room area for vinyl or hardwood or something like that maybe a master bedroom a couple of bedrooms off to the side with the hallway I'll be able to change out the uh, layout is any way that I want to to make any type of video I'm gonna put some I'll build some stairs that way I'll be able to do stairs and all that kind of stuff like that too so uh, I'm re getting really close thanks Jared I appreciate it buddy like I said all I got left is to sand one more time and uh, and put some paint on the walls. And then I can actually start doing some, thank you, Lizard Luke, actually start doing some videos and getting some stuff going on in here. Uh, I don't know if, I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen the outside of it. I got a unit right here. This is the unit I ain't got yet put in yet either. That's gonna be my, my heat and air unit. I got a mini split unit that's gonna go in the back wall back there. So uh, those of you who hasn't seen before, this is actually inside of a big shop that I got here, see there? So this, I built this to look all rustic and stuff like that inside of a big shop. I'm gonna have a, a old rusty roof on it right here, hanging over for the porch and all that kind of mess like that. Just to make it look cool, I got a bunch of uh, really old gray barnwood planks right there to uh, cover my porch up and a, a board to go across the front of my porch right there. So everything is gonna look really old and authentic as soon as we get, uh, 
just as soon as we get more time. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all, it's just all time. So anyway, let's go inside now and take a look uh, and do some, do some cool, I mean, do some, <laughs> a senior, senior comment there, Billy, and made me say cool. Do some giveaways. I want to give this thing away for sure. It's dark out here. Forgive me for just a second, y'all. Uh, Taylor Tools dropped a box of tools off this afternoon. I ain't even had a chance to get them in the house yet. But right uh, there is from Tyler Tools. I might come out and get that and open it up and see what's in there while I got you guys on this live stream right here. That way you guys will know. That way you guys can see uh, what we got else coming besides everything else we've already seen and shown so uh let me get in here in my office and we'll sit down here and do uh some questions or numbers or something and get some stuff away once again i want to tell you guys thank you for tuning in and joining i really do appreciate it um if you haven't already would you please hit the thumb up button give me a like please i appreciate it definitely helps out my videos helps out my channel and stuff like that if you guys will like and comment um, even after the video is over, if you will leave a comment down below, that also helps. Whew, goodness. Let me get my, uh, my big screen here turned on so I can watch the comments a little bit easier <clears throat> on the, it's easier to see it here and I can got, they don't disappear so fast if I'm looking at my big screen right here rather than just a little phone. So you guys give me one second. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I've got a question already. We can do that instead of just sitting here watching me. Um, we're going to give this thing away right here. Uh, do you do commercial work, sir? Yeah, I do commercial and um, uh, commercial and residential. Uh, so I've never done anything huge. I've never done a mall or anything like that. Thank you, Jared. I appreciate that. <laughs> I started to say something about that a while ago. People comment about me getting out of breath sometimes, and I would challenge you, I challenge you to go to work and while you're working, nonstop talk, okay? Anybody's gonna get out of breath while they're working and talking nonstop. That's the reason why I get out of breath all the time. I get out of breath just working, let alone sitting here nonstop talking while I am working. That That's pretty exhausting. Look, look, finally, you could have helped me out a while ago. I would appreciate it. Sorry, I'm busy. Anyway, um, I got a question, and what whatever we'll do. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, um, this might be a little bit. This will probably be for people that know and have been watching my videos and stuff like that here recently, at least within the past six months. Uh, you did a lot on that church video. Yeah, that was, uh, did that. I'm fixing to actually do another church. I'm starting next, next, uh, sometime next week. I got about 2,000 feet of LVP and about a, that is in a house. And then also next week I got about, uh, I think I figured out like 920 something yards of carpet is going in another church. So I got both of those to do next week. I don't know how I'm going to get it done, but we'll see what happens. I don't have to work some double shifts or triple shifts or something. Yeah, singing work. Billy said singing work. I see you singing at work sometimes. <laughs> I actually watched it today. I showed the guy that was working with me. I showed him. This is the way you call yourself reverend. <laughs> I, I had to show it in one of your little videos. <sighs> Thank you, Pitbull Militia. I appreciate that, buddy. Even though you're checking out, you was very generous to do that. Thank you so much. Uh, get the grandson started now. That is the whole plan, buddy. Just as soon as I can. Remember, you can call me Manny instead of Manuel. Okay. All right. So, uh, um, I got the things up right here. Okay. Whoever gets this question is going to win this right here. And I'm by myself today. Like you guys see that. So I will have to be writing stuff down myself. So y'all be patient with me, please. Um, if I can, can I get a few more thumbs up there, please? I would greatly appreciate it. I got 54 watching, only 32 likes. And um, I want to point out to you guys, please, whenever you do receive your products, your tools or whatever from this, please hook them up on social media. Post pictures of it. Say thank you, Roberts, or thank you, Taylor Tools, or 
whoever gives it to you, thank you uh, for that. And thank you, Florence by Southern Boys, for your donations or whatever like that, or your giveaways or whatever. You know, I want to help out these companies. You don't even have to say my name at all. I want to give these companies recognition because they really, really came in there. So I want to help them out as much as possible. Okay, here comes the question. Um, like I said, this will probably be for the people that's been with me for about the past six months. Anyway, here it goes. Um, my helper that I have right now, his name is Isaac, and I've mentioned it three or four times since he's been working with me. Does anybody know what his previous job was? Whoever knows what his previous job was before he came to work with me can have this. That's it right there. DJ Heck, bam, you was on it, son. DJ Heck got it. That was fast. Good job, buddy. I appreciate y'all. That was awesome. Y'all listening like that. <laughs> that. That's funny. I didn't mean to say it like that. That sounded like I was a school teacher or something. But thank you, guys. Let me write that down right now. DJ Heck. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm by myself, so y'all will just have to bear with me here, okay? Uh, let's see here. DJ Okay, I got that one down. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's go out there and get that Tyler Tools box and see what's in there. I know some. I know something that's in there that I would like to spread around because I use them myself and I absolutely love them. There's some shark teeth in that box. I know that for a fact. Let's go out there and get it. You want to? <coughs> Shark teeth are awesome. I've actually used my kicker without even having my teeth ex extended uh, before on that. Thank you, Damon Jones. I appreciate that. You guys have really been, been really generous this afternoon. I really do appreciate that. Uh, probably the way it's been going with the super chats and what I make on my, uh, with my YouTube and stuff like that, what I've been making on a daily basis since I've been doing the live stream <clears throat> and with you guys, a super chat is probably going to be, uh, kind of close to covering the, um, cost of the shipping, but obviously that won't come in until next month because what I'm working on right now. I will collect from YouTube on the 21st of January. So uh, let's take a look in this box right here. But I really do appreciate all that super chats and stuff like that. That's definitely going to help out with all this shipping. I wish I was uh, smart. Like uh, if I was as smart as Kimballin, I would have worked something out where the companies just would have shipped it straight to you rather than shipping it to me and then me having to do that. But anyway, first time. Yeah, it's the first time you live and learn. Never know. So, anyway, I'm not complaining. It don't it don't bother me really. It don't to do that. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Thank you, Jared. I really, really do appreciate that, buddy. Uh, dang, I don't even know what to say about that. That was awesome. He just did a hundred bucks, Treva. Dang, Jared. You want to hold this for me? That was awesome, Jared. I really, you're, you're the man. Oh. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. Thank you so much. You want to turn that around and shine it down here so we can see? Hit the flip button there. That was awesome. Thank you. Let's see what we got going on here. Again, I'm not, I don't mind that at all, okay? I honestly don't mind. And uh, the only reason why I remind you guys of that is there is a, Believe it or not, there is people that ask me how they can help and how they can contribute. So that's why every, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes or whatever in the videos, I'll, I'll say that uh, just because there's people coming on and dropping off and coming on and dropping off. And like I said, there are people that ask how they can help and how they can uh, be a part of this and stuff like that. It ain't even just this. People ask me on a random basis. That's right, Dan. How they can help. So that's why I put that out there, okay? I'm not, I'm not trying to twist nobody's arm to give super chats or anything like that, okay? You guys do what you guys feel like, and I'm all good with whatever, okay? So, what you guys do, I really do appreciate. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, mercy. Uh-oh. 
Taylor. Taylor, Taylor. Yeah. Oh, Frito Lay, don't feel bad. We appreciate everything. Absolutely, buddy. Let's see what these are. I don't know. I have to just open these boxes up to see what's going on. Oh, sweet. Somebody was actually talking about this a while ago. Uh, uh, Easy Tuck. They said the red one. I guess because I had all my red tools on Facebook. <laughs> they said, what about getting a red one? These are pretty handy, too. You can tuck it in with that. And also use this little point right here around door jams and stuff like that. When I was using mine, that's what I used it for. I don't know if I was using it properly or not, but hello, that's lizard how I used it. So those are pretty cool. Uh, easy tuck. And these right here are awesome. Look here. We've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six packs of shark teeth. Uh, Danny Sherman, if you're still on here. A big shout out to you, buddy. This uh, Danny Sherman is the rep for Taylor Tools. I'm sure he had a huge hand in this. So thank you, Danny. I really do appreciate it, buddy. And I'm sure whoever receives all this stuff is going to appreciate it as well. This stuff is awesome. These are really awesome. So thank you for this, Danny. Anybody else on there, feel free if you would like to say thank you, Danny Sherman. And thank you, Taylor Tools. We'll go through this and then we'll get to some more giveaways. I would like to see what all is in here real quick if you guys are cool with that. Uh, okay, this is a sea mine. Okay, cool. All right, so um, I know what this is and I am definitely going to do a hands-on demo with this like I did on that thing right there a while ago because whoever gets this, I want to show them how to use it. Not that I'm a professional. I've never used one either, but I've had the man that uh, I think he came up with this. I think Ray Knapp had something to do with this. And he told me how to do it when I was at the convention, uh, CFI convention. So this will be slightly used too because I'm going to make a couple scenes with it. So you guys, and one of them will be in the demonstration that I do. But I want to show you guys uh, this iron right here. Look right here really close on this. Oh, dang. <laughs> Look right here, baby. So if you guys can see that, can you see that hole right there? Can you see that sugar? Right there is a hole. Thank you, Jared. Can you see that hole in the camera? Yeah. Well, the, the comments are covering where. <laughs> oh, okay. How about that? So there's a hole right there. Um, what, what this iron does, let me take this off and look at the bottom of this. I want to check out the bottom of this. Okay, so check this out. So right here in the bottom of this is like a little weeping hole. So glue will come right there and come right out here where there's joins. So this V right here is awesome. This is exactly where your carpet will get separated. It actually pushes the nap back and everything else like that. I've got the 890 and I absolutely love it. I think that's the one I got. And this also has a light on it as well. These are super awesome irons. But what this does, this lets a little bit of the seam glue uh, weep up through there and come out that hole right there. So it actually takes some of the seam tape, take some of the seam tape glue, pushes it up in between there and seals your seam as you're putting your seam together. Uh, you cannot do this like a uh, regular traditional iron, like pushing at an iron's length and stuff like that. There is a way that you have to do it, but this is gonna be awesome. I cannot wait to try this out. Thank you, Taylor Tools and Danny Sherman for sending this. This is gonna be awesome. I hope whoever gets this really appreciates it because this is, this is awesome. Uh, the thermoplastic seam sealing techniques and methods and stuff like that where you can literally bend the seam back like that and it not break open it just makes an arch where your seam won't even break this is going to be like amplified of that because this is actual the seam tape glue itself so that's going to even be stronger my opinion okay this is my opinion but i'm sure that the uh seam tape glue is stronger than the thermoplastic uh or else they would use the thermoplastic whatever i don't even know Anyway, this, <laughs> the seam, the seam tape glue is really awesome. So binding your two edges together like that with seam tape glue is going to make it really strong. And it's going to be like this is the edge of the carpet. It's going to be completely sealed top to bottom like you would do with a thermoplastic tube. So it's going to prevent peaking big time. There's going to be no peaking using this iron if it's used correctly. There's going to be no breaking open seams if you use this iron correctly. I'm really stoked up about this. This is awesome. I can't. 
I'm going to probably Saturday or something like that whenever I have a day off because I want to do a really good video on this. This is going to be awesome right here. So somebody's going to get that as well. And like I said, I hope you guys appreciate that because that's going to be, that's, that's a really awesome tool right there. Mm. What is it? Okay, I know what this is too. This is lock jaws for pulling up carpet. Look at here. Bam, son. This is like a super big shark teeth is what that is. Look at there. Clamp it right down on your carpet right there. Grab this and pull you up some glue down rug. That's awesome right there. I can't wait to try that. I might staple some carpet down or something like that out there in my studio and just give that a whirl too because I would like to see how that works. That definitely feels good right there, being able to hold on to that. It's almost like you can drive it. Subfloors is saying, I want me, me, me. <laughs> That's pretty awesome right there. That's exactly what that is. They have took that shark teeth design right there and put it on this uh, carpet puller right there. And there's no doubt that that's going to hold good right there, them shark teeth, them big shark teeth. Because like I said, I've took them shark teeth in my kicker and you can adjust the teeth all the way in where you don't even have your teeth out and still kick the carpet. And these shark teeth will not let your carpet slide. So this is awesome. Somebody's They're lucky. saying these are great. Have ripped miles of them up. And then Danny said something. Uh, let me see. No, down. Oh, down? Yeah, way down. Oh, dang. No, that's it. Oh. All the way down. All right, there. That's great to oh. to uh, attach to a ride on, too. Oh, there you go. The uh, carpet puller. That's awesome. Never even thought about that. Uh, little old broke me. I sure can't afford no ride on, so I'll just have to use ride on with these. <laughs> okay, these are awesome, too. I actually have these myself. These are really good. You guys have seen these in my videos. These carpet pullers right here. These are super awesome. They work with the, the harder you pull. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, yeah, thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that. You guys have been really generous. I can't stress that enough. Okay? We need one more thumbs up to hit that 50. We got 50 right there. What's the best soundproofing for floor do you have experience with Impact Bear? Say that again. It's the last... The long comment right uh, there. What's the best soundproofing for floor? Do you have experience with impact barrier? Uh, UT flooring underlayment? Uh, not really. Um, there is one. Um, uh, Danny Sherman, maybe you or Billy uh, Graham might know. Uh, what was the, um, the company that was up there at the CFI convention that had the laminate pad under or vinyl plank pad and stuff like that? I can't. Can't think of that company, but that pad right there was really awesome. If you guys could put that up there, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, have a national carpet puller. Legit and leg it and flat. Okay. Anyway, we're going to get back to this right here. So these right here are super awesome. You watch that right there close up. So the harder you pull on that, the harder that gets a bite. Are you able to see that, sugar? So that's awesome. You can pull as hard as you want, and it's going to bite the harder you pull. These are awesome. I use these myself. I'll, I'll, uh, you know, I've already done videos on that, so we'll see what happens with that. Billy Graham said he didn't know. Okay. All right. Dang, I wish I could think of it. Them guys were super awesome up there. I would like to help them out. These are awesome. Uh, you guys might have seen, I uh, did a video on these right here for um, glue down wood, uh, lacing in laminate and hardwood and stuff like that. These things are super awesome. What this is is a tapping block. If you guys haven't seen this before, these are tapping blocks that actually hooks to a hammer drill. And instead of beating your block in, if you guys ever do any lacing in laminate hardwood or anything like that, when you're trying to weave that in like that right there, it's a lot of times it gets really tight and you set your tapping block on there and tap it in, tap it in, tap it in, tap it in. A lot of times you damage the end of your boards and when you get it almost there, you got to pull it back out because you boogered the end of it up or something like that. This right here will eliminate that. This is like it just like vibrates right in there. These are super awesome for doing repair work like that, lacing in or even glue down wood. Uh, these are awesome. I, I got a video on these, so um, I might just leave a link in the description whenever I give these away if you guys want to see a demo on that. Billy Graham says, yeah, it really stinks and your arm wants to fall off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I hear you. It sure does. Sean Schultz working smarter, not harder. Yeah, 
Yeah. Billy Graham said, good video. I saw it. Okay, cool. Thank you. I don't know what this is. This is in a box itself. Oh, it's a whole bunch of boxes in a box. So, let's see what these are. Drum roll. Let's see what these are. <laughs> So good. Oh, I know what these are. These are awesome. Concrete uh, moisture testings. Thank you, Damien. So uh, these are going to come in really handy if you guys want to do stuff the right way and check for moisture and stuff like that. That's exactly what these are. These are moisture test kits. So these things, if I'm not mistaken, run a pretty good penny. So uh, somebody is going to be really, really good about or really lucky about getting these right here. Uh, moisture test in progress. Do not disturb. These are awesome little setups. I've never actually seen one myself, so I don't guess I do stuff right, but I've never done a moisture <laughs> test in my life. Never done a moisture test in my life. Oh, uh, uh, mercy. Anyway, um, we'll look into those and check them out, and I'll get some details on that before I talk too much about it, because like I said, I've never done it, but I know they are uh, fairly expensive, so these are going to be good for somebody. Sean people. says that's a good looking kit. Yeah, people that do stuff right will appreciate this for sure. Okay, well that, I think that's it. That's it from Tyler Tools. Thank you. Thank you so much, Danny Sherman and Tyler Tools for your contributions. I definitely appreciate that. Um, also right here, this right here also came, uh, I guess about a month ago. This right here came from Tyler Tools also. This is a triple threat, so uh, if your helper gets a little crazy or something like that and you want to threaten them, don't even threaten them once. Just give them the triple threat, and surely to goodness they'll listen to that. Now, they call this the triple threat because it takes three different types of staples. This is like a three-in-one hammer tacker right there. See that? So this will take the 7500 series, 5000 series, and the A11 series. So uh, surely to goodness, sometimes if you're just like a DIY person or something like that, and you want to go to box stores and get your staples or whatever like that. Because this has three different types, it's going to be real easy to find these at box stores and stuff like that. And this A11 right here is really easy to find. These are pretty common staples right here. That's actually why I have this. You can see right here, this also fits this type of staple gun. When I did that video on that gun right there, this is actually the staples that went in that as well. So uh, having this big heavy hammer tacker like that, taking the same staples that that works out really good you don't have to buy no extra specific staples for it or anything like that so that's awesome and whoever gets that hammer tacker right there is also going to get these box of staples let's do a giveaway you want to i'm all psyched up now i've got some more stuff to give away what you want to do what you want to give away what you want to give away sugar let me see what's anybody saying um Round two. I have two, lol. Okay, I've put some holes in walls here and there. Uh, solo player. Hello, how's it going, everybody? Let me see that because you're standing. Wall trimmer, your ninja boots, moisture kit. <laughs> my ninja boots. People talk about my shoes, but ninja shoes. I had a customer on a job tell me my shoes look like ninja boots. Look Give away that. a carpet stretcher. <laughs> Not yet. That'll be closer to Christmas, I think. Yeah, that one. Uh, I'll tell you what. I got some... Uh, med kit. What is this, huh? I, I get, wait, let, we can do another one of these roll finders right here. What do we got right here? Oh, that's the uh, things right there. We can give it another time. Give it away to make room in the office. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hammer tacker. You want to give that away? That's what Sean Schultz says. Okay, let's do it. Okay. I got a few more items right here. We will give these away. Um, let me let me have that over here, baby. Since you're going to be in here, you can... I wasn't technically. I got oh, some stuff to do. I thought she was going to be in here and help me write. All right. Well, uh, either way, anyway, she's going to flake out on me. <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right, we're going to go with the hammer tacker. Um, 
Thank Jared. you, Jared. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Jordan says some shirts and hats. Okay, cool. I got. Pl I still got plenty of those. We can do some more of those too. <coughs> I got some. Uh... Oh, dang it! Oh. Manuel says this is better than the prices, right? <laughs> <laughs> I got some. Uh, I got plenty of shirts and hats and stuff. And I bought these little uh, YouTube things like this just for this stuff right here. So. It would look halfway presentable in here. I still got some Roberts shirts, Roberts hats, and uh, tools for flooring stuff as well. So if we, if you guys want some hats and shirts and stuff like that, we can definitely, you definitely do that. There's a lick toe and what's the smiley face? Uh, this is a happy place. That's what the smiley face is. So uh, more of the Roberts hats, swag, swag. All right, enough acting goofy. Oops, I forgot that. I need to put this. Uh, I need to put this with this. Try to keep all this stuff together so everything is right. All right, uh, three hundred fifty dollars tonight. Holy moly! What? Uh, Jared Hawkins gave away over three hundred and fifty dollars tonight. Holy moly! What? Uh, I think you're mistaken. Which he did do a lot. I got $151 right now in Super Chat. So thank you, Jared, and to everyone else who gave. That is awesome. That's the highest night. That's the highest night yet. I really do appreciate that. Um, Saturday, I think if the post office is open Saturday night. Oh, he meant in donations. To, uh, oh, I don't Anyway. Uh, okay, so I want to type in my phone number, um, buddy, um, DJ Heck, I've already got your number and stuff like that, so right here is five, two, oops, let me type in my number right here anyway. Five, two, zero, Okay, there's my phone number. Somebody give me a number between 1 and 10, please. The first one is going to do it. 5, okay. Tristan said 5. We're going to go with that right there. Ooh. We're going we're gonna to go with 5, okay. Hold on just one second. So 5 from my phone number right there. I'm going to turn this around so everybody can see what's going on. So we're going to go 5 numbers from here from where i commented right here one two three four five hey zeus uh cardines cardenas i don't know how to say that uh we're going to give you the hammer tacker that's how we're going to do that that way it was nice and simple so i'm gonna write your name down that was real nice and easy way to do it like that sorry about that i got a phone call come in there um hey zeus Sorry, y'all, bear with me. I'm kind of slow at writing. I don't, I don't, probably you guys already know. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do that in just a second. Keep having phone calls come in there. I'm sorry about that. Uh, the, uh, it's a Tucson number. The pad gun, I mean, the uh, next question is going to be, uh, relating to me again, and I have said this numerous amount of times in um, my videos. If you got who, you don't have to wait and answer or anything like that. We're going to do another one of these right here. These are awesome. I want to give somebody else one of these, okay? These are super awesome. I was stoked up when I used this today at work, okay? So I'm going to do another one of these. I think I got six of them to give away anyway, so that's cool to give a couple of these away tonight. Um, whoever can tell me what was the last grade I completed in school is going to get one of these. Y'all can go ahead. Uh, where did it start at? I'm sorry. I didn't have my thing going on. Did you see it? Oh, right there it is. There we go. Okay. Uh, where was it at? Right here. There's a whole bunch of numbers right there, but there's nobody said put a t on the end of it or something. 
I'm sorry about that, y'all. I didn't have my my numbers right there because I was looking at Jesus's number. I don't know where we started at on that. I'm going to have to toss that. I don't know where I was at. I'm sorry, okay? Um, dang it. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what else to say. Any Somebody is wearing me out on the telephone. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Frito-Lay looks like. Uh, if somebody... Uh, if somebody knows, I'll be okay with doing that if everybody can agree on who got it because I don't know. Like I said, I had my comments rolled up on the screen because I was looking at Jose. If someone knows who got that, I'll be okay with giving that away as long as it don't cause a fuss. Uh, Lay got it. Somebody keeps calling me. I wonder if somebody's messing with me because they know I'm doing live stream. Uh, let's see here. Free to lay, got it. Free to lay. Okay, uh, we will do this one right here. Uh, put your phone on airplane mode. That's an awesome idea. I don't know if I can get out of here though without messing up the live stream. Thank you, Damon Jones. I appreciate it again. Uh, for the next time I do a live stream, I will definitely have my phone on airplane mode. That's a great idea. Thank you for doing that, John. Uh, Sean. I keep getting a stupid phone call. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I think somebody's messing with me. Uh, okay, so we will do the... If they call again, I'm going to end this, and then I'll just start right back up, because that's, like, really annoying. Yeah, it's, I'm going to wait for him to do something, then I'm going to see if I can't do something about that. If they call back again, it's the same person. I think someone's just messing with me. Anyway, uh, we'll do the tapping block, and we will do uh, the row finder, row cutter right here as well. Uh, how many, I like how my name went from, <laughs> oops, that gummit. Uh, I like how my name went from Little Bean to Chip, LOL, in English. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know what that was in Spanish, Little Bean. Okay, it's probably someone who won a prize. Well, I'm using my phone for live stream, so if it is, please chill. Uh, I need that cutter. What cutter are you talking about, Smart Floors? I gave away the Roberts cutter. Okay. Uh, it didn't give me no option or anything like that. Mine's old Orcon row cutter. Oh, you want the uh, row cutter. Okay. All right, well, let's uh, let's do something about that. Let's see if we can do something. Uh, let me think of a question. Okay, I'm going to end this real quick, and I'm going to pick right back up. I'm going to put my phone on airplane mode. Somebody is definitely messing around. Um, I will be live again in just like two minutes, okay? FBSB's out for just a minute.